Southwest Research Institute has formed a, a joint industry program called ACES, the Automotive Consortium for Embedded Security. ACES is looking at emerging research in both new technologies and new protections for embedded security, especially for, for the automotive world. And what we're trying to do is look at the applicability of those technologies and that research to the particular OEMs in a pre-competitive way. A consortium allows manufacturers to pool resources to solve big problems that are common to an industry. Southwest Research Institute has hosted more than 20 automotive-related consortia since 1985 and is currently leading 10 active consortia. Uh, Southwest Research Institute has been working with embedded system security, looking at the, the smart meters that go on your home, the industrial control systems and the distribution centers that go behind that, trying to help secure those links from attackers, from terrorism. Automotive cybersecurity is the idea of protecting a vehicle and protecting the uh, computers within a vehicle from the outside hackers, uh, bugs that may be on the on the there, and also protecting the intellectual property and the software that's on the computers. There are dozens of embedded computer systems on board today's vehicles, often communicating via local networks, such as the CAN bus, and more recently, via external networks. Southwest Research has performed a, a project looking at monitoring the CAN bus, the controller area network on the vehicle, to look for uh, anomalies in the CAN traffic, looking at what the normal traffic pattern is when the car is functioning in a normal environment and looking at what happens if there are spurious injections on that CAN bus and trying to see if we can detect those spurious injections that might indicate either malicious activity or they could possibly indicate a, a bug or, a, or a, a sensor failing. Automotive embedded systems control everything from engine timing to emissions, to safety systems such as anti-lock braking and door locks. Hacking into these systems could potentially allow someone to steal proprietary control technology or modify safety or other systems. AutoTread, the automotive tool for reverse engineering analysis and detection, was developed by Southwest Research Institute in our internal research program. This tool allows us to uh, perform the anomaly detection using various algorithms. It, it, it provides a platform to test additional algorithms in the future, and it also gives the capabilities for injection, for traffic sniffing, and analysis of CAN traffic and, and reverse engineering. The intellectual property for an OEM could be compromised by having an outside person read the, the, the data off of the computer and being able to use that in their own system or being able to modify it on the current, current computer. The safety issue for a vehicle is that if, if the vehicle is running out of spec or if the vehicle is, is, has been hacked from an outside person, it could, it could shut down systems such as the analog braking system, it could modify the steering, it could cause nuisance, nuisance distractions such as cranking up the volume while somebody's trying to drive as well. Southwest Research Institute also conducts penetration testing, looking for potential back doors into these systems. Penetration testing is uh, a term for what might also be called ethical hacking. It's, it's actually trying to break into an embedded system or any, any computer system, but you're doing it for the vendor instead of you're doing it to, to do something malicious. This groundbreaking work in automotive cybersecurity offers important benefits to the automotive industry. OEMs would be interested in hardening their embedded systems for three main reasons. Protecting their intellectual property from outside theft, being able to protect the safety of the people that are driving the cars as well as the, the other people out on the roads and protecting the brand name of their car. It causes real financial loss if, if the media and the public lose faith in the safety and the security of those vehicles.